The Red Mare, a Dr. Dark the Spectralist story by Teal James Glenn. There were seven of us arrayed around the table at Midsummer's Night in Kent, waiting expectantly for the spiritualist seance to begin. Lady Astro was a delicate thing with pale skin and watery blue eyes that gave the impression of her health hovering on the edge of collapse. I was not fooled. I knew she was a robust little thing, for I had seen her earlier when her dress had caught momentarily, and she fell forward on the stairs. Her hand shot out, and she grabbed the banister with a firm grip to right herself. Then she went back to her delicate and feigned weak posture, clearly a pretense to garner sympathy from onlookers for the medium. So there we sat, myself, the lady in question, her aide, Simon, my confederate, Jack Stone, Horatio Venture, a reporter for the London Star, and Mr. and Mrs. Wentworth, for whom the ceremony had been conducted. It was their daughter, Catherine, who had passed on. There were wealthy Americans come to live in Kent whose child had died in an unfortunate riding accident. Both were silver-haired and well-behaved for colonials, save that she had a tendency for tears and he smoked an inferior brand of cigar. I had been invited to the seance as the noble skeptic by the London Star to spark controversy. I welcome you, the little medium said when I was introduced to her at the first meeting. I have heard much about your activities, Dr. Dark. I accepted her hand so small in mine, her grip was firm. I have heard much more about you, I am sure, I responded. Your fame as a medium has all but eclipsed all other news, even the reports of Mr. Houdini's tours. And you'll have to read the rest to find out what happened.